Hello guys, welcome to FDT TV. My name is Mike and this is the upcoming preview for Brentford versus Arsenal. Well guys, we are back into the Premier League season, kicking off with an away fixture against Brentford, newly promoted Brentford. This is the first time for Brentford being in the top flight, I think since the 1940s. Uh, we need to start off the campaign with a win, obviously. Uh, we've got some difficult fixtures over the next couple of weeks, so picking up three points uh, will not only be good for the start of the campaign, but will put us on a good way for the season ahead. No European football this year, so every game is vital in the Premier League. Minimum expectations for me this season are top four with a domestic trophy of a League Cup or the FA Cup. And I think anything less than that would be a, a failure of a season. But obviously I'm going to get behind the team. We need to score more goals. That's something that's been highlighted over last season and during pre-season. And we need to stop conceding those stupid, silly goals that we have seen over the last year and a bit. Uh, for newly promoted Brentford, this is a big game for them. As I said, this is the first time for them being in the top flight since the 1940s, only the second time in the club's history now to be in the top tier, uh, so they will want to come at us early. We should have enough to take the three points from them in, uh, for their first game in the Premier League, but we have seen Arsenal's away form. Granted, it was slightly better than it has been uh, recently last season, but we can seem to falter away from home. Uh, we need to start positively and get an early goal. That for me is crucial. Uh, last season, if you haven't already seen it, check out my preview show, but last season was a big disappointment. However, with fans coming back into the stadiums, uh, this can go one of two ways. Either getting behind the team uh, when we're doing well, giving them the boost that they need. If we're flagging slightly, again, giving them the boost they need. However, if we do start to go uh, off on a tangent and putting in some poor uh, displays, the fans are going to make their voices heard. So I'm just going to go through my potential lineup for this game against Brentford. Um, obviously, as you can see, I have gone for some new recruits, um, but I'll start off at the back. Bernardo and Goal is our number one. We have to make uh, some recruitments into that position because we have seen a few errors creeping into his game over the, uh, the last season and a half. For someone that was so outstanding up until we got injured when Martinez uh, got a break and obviously took us to the FA Cup final and won it. <sighs> this is a big season for Bernd Leno. There has been rumours about him wanting to leave pre previously over the last few weeks. But for, for now, he's a number one. Kieran Tini at left back, Pablo Mari as centre back paired with uh, the newly signed Ben White. And also I've gone for Callum Chambers in at right back. Um, for, for me, he edges over Hector Bellerin. Hector Bellerin uh, has been at fault for a few games during pre-season, uh, most notably against uh, Chelsea when he came on, gave the ball away very cheaply, and Tammy Abraham obviously got the goal to, uh, to take it 2-1 after Granit Xhaka um, tied up at, uh, at the Emirates. Um, in the centre of midfield, I've gone for Granit Xhaka and a new boy again, Sambi Lokonga. Obviously, with the injury to Thomas Partey um, and with Mohamed El Neni in backup for me, um, with a left footer and a right footer, Sambi Lokonga has got a, a pretty sweet peg on him. Um, uh, we've seen some amazing passes over the course of pre season. Uh, likes to run around a lot and I think will fit in quite nicely until Thomas Partey comes back. Don't get me wrong, I think as soon as Partey comes back, we will see uh, Sambi drop down. Uh, the pecking order but for, for me whilst Thomas Partey is out injured I think Lukonga will be good in that position. I knew number 10 in the number 10 position Mill Smith Rowe a big responsibility in his shoulders since uh, signing his new contract and in that creative midfield position. Again a breakthrough season for him last season I thought it was absolutely outstanding and I think will impress Arsenal fans this year. In on the wings, I've gone for um, Aubameyang and Nicolas Pepe. Nicolas Pepe was in the form of his life towards the end of last season and has looked pretty good during pre-season as well. So for, for me, I think this is going to be Nicolas Pepe's year and we have to see um, Aubameyang find the form that he had in the, not last season, the season before and the season before that where he was uh, joint gold boot winner. 
Um, the goals have dried up for him over the course since he's uh, signed his new long-term deal with us. So people, rightly so, are kind of questioning whether his uh, desire to be in the team or desire to play for the team is now dwindling. For me, I don't doubt it. For me, I think it's just a, a confidence issue. But obviously, with fans coming back into the stadiums, that could be the energy boost that he needs. Obviously, in at the number nine position, I have gone for Alex Lacazette. Alex Lacazette had a outstanding uh, pre-season uh, for us this year. Uh, was top goal scorer for Arsenal last season. And hopefully, if we can keep hold of him, I think we'll get uh, more goals this year. We did see with the likes of uh, Saka and Emil Smith-Rowe in at those positions that he uh, <laughs> he can be a great striker. Um, for, for the partnership that we've seen for Aubameyang and Lacazette, they've got a great friendship off the, off the pitch. And you would hope that they can rekindle that form that they, we have seen in the Arsenal team over the last few seasons. Current injuries in the squad. Uh, Thomas Partey out with a, uh, I believe it's an ankle ligament issue, so he's going to be out for a few weeks. Eddie Nketiah, again, has also picked up another injury, and Gabriel picked up an injury whilst out on the Olympic duty, um, but should be coming back over the next few weeks. Saka just coming back from holiday, so joined the team uh, just recently back on their pre-season training. So we could see him uh, being utilised and hopefully he has as an impressive season as he did last year where he really kind of hit the ground running. Martinelli is also back into the team also after winning the gold at the Olympics with Brazil. So congratulations to him. Uh, we have also seen some academy promotions. So Flo Balogun and also um, I think it's Arthur Nkonkwa joining up uh, into the first team squad. But as I mentioned in my season preview, there are some areas in which we need to... Um, kind of get covered for Matty Ryan obviously went uh, or what his loan spell was terminated at the end of the season we have seen it likes of Danny Ceballos uh, Martin Erdegaard also leave uh, this is obviously being recorded <coughs> excuse me earlier on in the week so there may be some signing towards the end of this week I doubt it but we've also got uh, up until the end of August to um, make those in investments into those key areas my expectations for the game, this should be a comfortable win for, for Arsenal. Touch wood. Um, but like I've said before, it wouldn't surprise me with our away record, whether we do seem to stutter. Uh, for me, we do have to win. It's a it's a no, no brainer. We have to win. We have to get the, the season off to a, a kind of the same start we did last season in terms of winning the first game. But then we need to march on from that as well. Um, we need to start strongly, as I said earlier. We need to get capitalised on the possession, play the ball around, not concede, not concede any stupid goals, score an early goal, or a couple of goals will be fantastic. But if I'm being honest, I think this will be a comfortable win for us. Uh, Brentford, don't get me wrong, no, no mugs. They're going to have a point to prove in this season. So I think they're going to be right up for the game. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we go 1-0 down and then walk the game from there. I think we're going to go for a 3-1 uh, win. 3-1 win to Arsenal. So there we go, guys. That is my preview for the upcoming fixture against uh, Brentford. Hopefully it's a win. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks very much. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. And we'll catch you on the next video. Hi, right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe. See you next time.